Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I wanted to do a flip through of a little book that I made that was inspired by Carla at Cage Fish. Um, I call this my Roy G. Biv book or my rainbow book. You'll see in a minute. Um, she sent me some very small pieces of paper and a tablet and I ripped them out and I jelly printed them and then I stamped on top of them. Let me show you the book. <clears throat> this is it right here. Here's the closure I used for it. I'm not big on doing ribbon type stuff, but that's what I had on hand when I was making this. All right, so the inside, let me go a little closer. The inside is painty paper that's been stamped. I stamped on top of the painty paper. All these images are just random images from my small image box that I keep. Um, there's stickers, there's ephemera that I paid for, magazine clippings, and um, book pages. I just made little vignettes on each page that just made me happy. This is just a cardboard ephemera on top. There's nothing else on there on top of the painty paper. This one is torn painty paper and then um, a picture of a woman cutting up, cutting up red bell peppers. I think, I'm sorry, I keep trying to get you in closer because I thought you might like to see the pictures, the actual pictures. All right, this is a basket. That's all it is, a woven basket. One image on the page. Some of them have more images. This is of trees in the forest that I cut out from different different things. This is like three or four different trees that are glued on top of each other with some green painty paper behind them. And then I found clouds that were quilted from some kind of a quilting magazine and just glued those on to make it look like clouds in the sky in the forest with the trees. This one is based on red and the, the focal point for me for this one, the inspiration for this one was the Folgers can. Oops, sorry. I thought that the little gnome added something to it. I thought he was cute. Right, this is strictly ephemera tickets. That's that's all that's in there. Just ephemera tickets. There are numbers. This one is stickers, and it's really hard to see this, but these are sewing stickers. This is a pair of scissors. And then the little... Um, looks like it's some kind of a string. Then there's a sticker of some needles, and then it just says on here, threads. There's magazine, not magazine tech, there's um, book, book text underneath all of that on top of the painting paper. This is just a whole spread that was inspired by all the different, I cut out little miniature trees and plants out of magazines because I love the way they look when you do a little house. You add one of these that came off of a coffee table or something and it makes it look like it was meant to be outside gardening things. And then I just put the butterfly ephemera there. This is, uh, I think this is scrapbook paper. But I just like the way they look. This is an image that's been embossed that Cage Fish sent to me of a face. I love this face. All I needed was just the face on the page. You don't need anything else fancy. This one is based on Paris because this reminds me kind of like the Mona Lisa and I saw her at the Louvre in, in Paris and so I wanted the other side of the page to bring back a memory of seeing the face that was kind of like this on this page and it's a ticket, a bird, the Eiffel Tower and just something out of a, I think this came out of a magazine that said Paris on it. These are just bowls that are stacked up. I cut out flowers, set them inside the bowl Again, these are just more flowers, and that's a bowl of apples. This was based on, like, red and trying to stick with the bowl theme, although I did put the yellow tulips on there because I thought they were nice. This is just security envelope and uh, UPC. This is an embossed, uh, it's the, lo uh, the lock, and it's embossed in silver, and then I found a key and cut that out and put it for a lock and key. This is, 
what do you call it? The Chinese paper that they burn and then a seahorse that was embossed. This one is a scene. It's um, a family on a rafting trip and I took blue painty paper and then made waves inside the painty paper. Sorry, made waves with the painty paper with a gel pen, a white jelly pen, gel pen. This is just something that was sent to me from, I think this was from Carla at Cage Fish and she embossed it for me and it just needed to be on a page all by itself. Just love these single image pages like this. This one is a bird in a cage. These are, this is magazine paper and then I found a cage and then found a bird and just pasted the bird on the cage. This is B for butterflies. These came off of, uh, these were printed from a site. I don't know if it was graphic fair. No, was it, was it graphic fairies or one of those kind of places where they give you graphics. I printed it off on cardstock, cut them out. And then I found the letter B out of a magazine and glued that on there. This came from Carlette Cage Fish. We swap images, so there'll be a lot of her stuff in here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, so this is her Tin Man stamp that I adore this guy. And I had a thimble, and then this just um, magazine text or book text in the background. This is of a rooster pillow and a globe. I just like the colors that they kind of went together. That's the only reason they're on the page. These are of bingo cards and the number five. Just old bingo cards. These are these. This one is a. Oh, if it's a. I think this one's a rub on, and these two are ephemera cards, of bingo cards. Well, let's get this turn. Just an a magazine, an image out of a magazine with paint with um, random paper from magazines, and this is also came out of a magazine. But the the colors all kind of went together. All went together. This is just of a shell. And then again, this is random magazine paper on here. This one I did as a double page spread for the tree of knowledge, the Buddha and the peace, because that's what I felt like Buddha stood for is peace and knowledge. And again, with the peace theme, it's a dove with the word blessed on it. And here's another little bird with a, an ephemera tag on it. This is dedicated to tea. These are all, um, this is ephemera. This is from, these two are from a magazine. And these are just the word tea from a letter set that I had from Hobby Lobby. Other side, same thing. It's mostly the blue theme. It's a but ephemera butterfly. The little things from an ad from Twinning's Tea. And then just glued on there because they were blue. These are all stickers except for this. The candle came off of a coffee table uh, picture in a magazine, a home magazine. And I cut the, I cut the, um, the candle out and then I put shell stickers. These are from scrapbook pages and shell stickers. So I have a double like C theme there. This one had to do with cameras and black and white buttons. You know, it's just the compass with the camera and then the buttons. And the, the, these three are, I think these three are stickers. This is a sticker and this is from a magazine. This is just a picture of flowers in a basket. Sorry about the glare. I don't know why I've got such a glare on this. This is just a piece of pottery on a page with magazine, colored magazine, and then the, the book. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can get rid of this glare. Oh, that's better. I had the ceiling fan light on, and I think that's what did it. So let me back you out a little bit. There we go. This one is just of a picture of a rose with, um, I think I use some kind of a, oh, that's, that's uh, sparkly. I think this might be one of the seven gypsies or, or tattered angel sprays that's uh, got shimmer to it. 
a piece of book text and then I just cut out a rose. This is just a picture of a camera. I love pictures of old cameras. This is a pillow of a chicken. I find these in the that country, what is it, uh, country something, country home magazine where they're selling all the country themed things. This one is A for apple. And I just took random apple pictures. And then I took a letter off of, a, I think this is a magazine page or a sticker, one of the two, I can't remember. I don't remember why I put this one here. I think I got something backwards in here and meant to put this someplace else. But this is uh, stamped red dots with the picture of the lady on it, which came out of a, an art journaling magazine. This one is a fish from Carlette Cage Fish. She stamped and embossed it for me. These are magazine pages that I thought mimicked rocks on the bottom of the ocean. Here's the ocean. There's the air above the ocean, and there's like the sky. And there's my, <laughs> my signature knot, which I should make smaller. This is done in red. This was a, a picture of a woman that I cut out of an art journaling magazine. I did uh, swat, uh, ripped up red painty paper, put it in strips, stamped the number five on it, and put her over it. This is just of an apple with some red paint behind it and the word balance underneath it, which I got out of my word box. This is cupcakes. I don't think we need to explain that any further, right? <laughs> Here's a picture of a woman with a silhouette and she just had such a striking pose that she really didn't need anything else on her. It has nothing to do with cupcakes. I just like the way it looked. This one is Based on blue, there's bird in a cage again. Uh, painty paper or magazine paper behind it. This is another blue bird. This is a picture with blue, a thimble, and it says fill her up for the thimble. Doesn't always have to make sense. This is a, a flower that's blooming just, and it says inspire. This one came out of a journaling magazine and then I cut the pear out of a food magazine and I put them together. So let's see if I can get these done, I'm done. This was based mostly on making things kind of look old fashioned. This came out of a magazine, this painty paper, no, this is ephemera, this came out of a magazine. I don't know where this came from. I don't know if Carla sent this to me or where I got the, the little circle thingy in the background. Then 45 cents was referring basically to the beer. And then there's just ephemera pieces and magazine pieces that look old, sort of like the person in the other picture. Vintage, not old. Oof. Am I vintage or old? No, I'm old. Um, this is another ephemera piece. It looks like a, a stamp and then just text behind it. This one is the whole image was cut out of a magazine, an art journaling magazine, and I just glued it on there. Took the saying and it says, and so the adventure begins. Cut those words out of the magazine. This one just had to do with the flowers and they were arranged differently in the magazine and I cut them apart and put them where I wanted, how I wanted them. These two were together and there were leaves on them, but I cut them off. And it says, imperfection is beauty. This has to do, oh, Joss papers. That's the word I'm looking for. This is Joss paper. And then I had ordered a ca uh, catalog of stamps and I cut all the images of the stamps out of the catalog and saved them and set them aside. And sure enough, there they go. They all go together. All the, stamped Im the um, stamps on top of the Joss paper. And I think this says New Year. This came out of an art journaling magazine, just a circle stamp that I had. Again, this came out of a journaling magazine and I liked it. And these are, I think, Dilution sprays that came in a bag. It was some kind of an advertisement. I just liked the way it looked. I liked the colors. And there's a little bottle of some kind of paint or glue at the bottom. It's a very small little image. This was, again, from an art journaling magazine with some ephemera here and ephemera here. This is uh, security envelopes. 
This is an image that came out of Art Journaling Magazine, and I cut almost the whole image out, except for um, I cut around the, the, the side of it because the image would have gone on just a little further onto this page, and I didn't want it to go that far, so I left the, um, the petals intact, and I just kind of cut around it and then glued it on the page, and it was stamped with a stamp that I have, those little black circles in the back. That was a stamp that I have. This was a pot, a terracotta pot, and these birds were in a, a picture, and I cut each bird out individually and glued them on there to make it look like they're birds at a bird feeder. This is just a potted plant. Made me happy, so in it went. I like the way this looks because it looks like they're vintage. This is ephemera from, it's a yardstick, scissors. Um, this, not a fleur-de-lis, but something close to it, and this is an image from an art journaling magazine. Of the doll. And this hat I think came from Carla Caged Fish and the fish probably came from her. I'm not really sure. Um, and I put the hat on the fish. This is embossed. It feels so cool. This was just a saying that I really liked and oops, this is, came out of an art journaling magazine. This is just images I put together on the page because I like them presents, trees, and clocks, and then security envelope. This is birds, and I think it's a little busy, but these were eggs. These are one, two, three, four eggs that are cut out of cardstock and piled one on top of the other. This is just an image of a woman holding speckled eggs that look like those. And there's the bird and security envelope, and then there's some other kind of paper in the background. It's a little busy, but in person, it works. This was done because of the blue from the other side. I tried to find things that would mimic the blue from the page. <clears throat> this is an ephemera envelope, ephemera yardstick from the other page. I cut it in half. These again are pick, uh, flowers that were ephemera that I cut out and I just put them all on one page together. This one says tranquil, uh, tranquil and it's of a person holding up her arms looking at the sky. And there we have another fish from Caged Fish. Red embossed fish. Just love them. Just love them. Picture of, I think this came out of a yarn magazine of all the different colors of yarn and the different um, widths of yarn. Different, And then I cut out um, pictures of hearts out of a magazine and just put them on top of it. This is, again, the same type thing with some kind of paper in the background I cut out of a magazine. And this is heart jewelry from a jewelry ad. These were cut from a magazine. Just random images put on the page. And because this had a flower that had the black petals like that, I used this one that had the white petals with the black inside. And here is an, a, a doll that was cut out of there from Prim's magazine. A doll holding a doll. I thought that was very cool. This had to do with houses. And then this is a scrapbook paper, the red, red and white um, spots. This is um, just random scrapbook paper. And then I took the images out of a magazine, collected little houses, and I like the little house images. This is hard to see but these are glass Christmas balls. Every one of these little squares is an antique glass Christmas ball. When I was a child, we lived in uh, Germany, and my mother collected German glass Christmas bulbs, uh, balls, and it reminded me of that. When we moved from Germany back to the United States, someone lifted the box that had held my mother's German glass ornaments, and we never saw them again. This is just something that was cut out of a, a magazine. This is an image. I'm not sure if this one's mine or Carla's. But then it, I colored it. These are just ephemeras that I got in an ephemera pack, and I think these came from Canvas Corp, if I'm not mistaken. Again, more ephemera. This was cut out of a magazine. This was also cut out of a magazine. I love my little black and white images. These are all from the back of an art journaling magazine. I 
think it was that in the Prims magazine. In the very back where they have the advertisements, they have a lot of mini black and white things. And there's a couple of pieces of ephemera that are glued in here that are tiny ephemera. I love all the black, the mini black and white objects. This was just an image cut, cut out of a magazine with the word listen, and then I cut out the musical notes for it. Here again is that beautiful face. This one, I'm not sure where it came from. It's not embossed, and it's not stamped, I don't think. But I love that face. That might have come from Art Journaling Magazine. I don't remember. Pictures from a magazine, more ephemera. This is picture from a magazine with scrapbook paper in the background. Today I will be happier than a bird with a french fry. <laughs> I laugh every time I see a bird in a fast food parking lot carrying, dragging off a french fry somewhere and there's other birds ready to snatch the fry from him. But I just thought that was so funny. This is just a picture again out of an art journaling magazine of daisies. You know, sometimes you don't need many images. You just need the simple image and it's done. Art journaling magazine. On eagle's wings you fly. I loved it. I thought it was really nice. And again, these are more images from our, the back of an art journaling magazine. This one was a whole spread. Collect beautiful moments. This was from a magazine and it had these beautifully handmade um, ships. I don't sailing ships. I cut those out and glued them on top of the saying and then I found an old shell and just a picture of a shell and glued it on there too. Your nautical theme. And this was just pretty flowers with red paper. Um, actually, this is a picture of like the Grand Canyon at sunset. And then it's a picture of a... Uh, this was on a coffee table in one of those magazine scenes. And I cut the flowers and the container was in off of the coffee table and just put it here. Let's see, when did I make this? May... Created May of 2017. So it's been nearly a year since I made this. So the cover is made with um, painty paper that was jelly printed and then stamped with a wooden block. And this is Grosgrain ribbon. So there's my Roy G. Biv book. Now when I did this one, when I did this one, I did more papers enough to make three of these books. So here is the second one. This is painty paper with um, texture paste on it through a stencil. Front and back. I didn't get this as straight as I would have liked on here. So this one is empty. And I did cover it up with uh, media... Uh, Golden Medium, it's the heavy gloss gel. Then I took the papers that, these are what the other papers looked like before I started gluing images on them. Then I um, stamped on top of them with just some random stamps that would kind of fade into the background. So this is, you're looking at kind of like the before and after book. So I did one sec, there's four, there's four, pieces of paper that are folded in half that equal one signature. So that's my red. These are the orange. Kind of hard. Orange. yellow. Again, these are just random stamps that I had that I consider these to be architectural elements or background type stamps. Text. More text. This is like a wall. Looks like a um, stone wall. More text. Stone wall, more text. This looks like fabric, like woven fabric. 
And it basically, it's the same stuff repeated over and over, used as a background. Green, there's a woven fabric look. Um, I think this might be that Hero Art stamp, I can't remember. Like I said, this was made in May of last year. It's been a while since I've looked at them. And so basically that's all this is. I sewed all of the signatures in. And now they're ready to become a glue book. I don't have a closure on this, but I'm sure it's going to need one because if you look at this, this has helped. Let me untie this and show you what happened. Okay, this is before images. This is after. As much as I squeeze it together, well, it's not too bad, but maybe it's because it's been compressed for a year. Not too shabby, huh? Okay, well, that's it for my Roy G. Biv rainbow book flip through. I hope you enjoyed it, and maybe that will inspire you to make something like this. It, You know, something that's like this does not have to be huge. It doesn't have to be complicated. Um, I just took random miniature images that I have in my little box. And let me show you the box. This is my mini pick box. This is for very small miniature um, pictures. I think I paid $5 for this little box at Michael's. Whoops, let me back you out. There you go. I think I paid $5 for this at Michael's. Maybe less, I don't remember. I've had it a while. So I just cut out little small random pictures and then put them in the book. You know, like this one is a jar filled with, I don't know if it's gumballs or what it is. Um, and I just, I, I don't know, I, things that, that strike me as funny or things that I know that in the future that will go in a glue book together. Like, I want to do one that has just the perfume bottle ads. So I cut out the perfume bottle. Oh, this is really not in my mini, this should not be in the, this box. This should be in my small um, images box. But anyway, um, so just cut out random things like this would be cute on a page with some red, with the red paint the ABCs. Some random thing. Oh, I know what I did. This came off that box that I bought that had the um, wooden blocks in it from Dollar Tree. I cut every image off that box that had those wooden blocks in it. I got tons of great images out of there. Look at these. There's another one of the ABCs. There's all kinds of ABC stuff in here from those block wooden blocks off the box. Just a random butterfly in one of those ads were, you know, sleeping pill ads or something. Lunesta, whatever it is. This is a stamped image from my, um, my December card that I made. And sadly, it did not work on a block. And it has, um, I think it has a Xyron stuff on the back of it. And I couldn't use it, but, you know, I saved it because it needs to go on something someday. Oh, yeah, here's more of that stuff in that box says alphabet blocks and then here's another one same box says alphabet blocks it doesn't matter how random it is if it pleases you and you like it yep, there's another one says alphabet I got a ton of these type words and things from that those boxes just random things here there and yonder of course you cannot have small images without having that one right <laughs> The sign of a true coffee lover. <laughs> All right, so I just I, I I just hope that you enjoy seeing the the um, the the books and how and where I get my images from. I had a couple magazines, cut them up, and I salvaged them the images. And here is book number one. Here's book number two. And I can't. I must have given away the stuff for book number three. I can't find book number three, but. Nevertheless, I really enjoyed making these. They were a lot of fun. They weren't rocket science. Just picked out random images, images from this box and glued them in. Great project. A lot of fun. Very colorful. Small. My favorite kind of book to do. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by and doing the flip through. See you later.